Let's get right into the passage. Um, in many of his sculptures, artist Richard Hunt uses broad forms rather than extreme accuracy to hint at specific people or ideas. In his first major work, uh, Arachne, Hunt constructed the mythical cre- uh, character Arachne, a weaver who was changed into a spider by welding bits of steel together into something that, although vaguely human, is strange and machine-like. And his large bronze sculpture, The Light of Truth, commemorates activist and journalist Ida B. Wells using mainly flowing curved pieces of metal that create stylized flame. Okay, well, broad forms rather than extreme accuracy. So, okay, like they gave me a dumb summary right at the beginning. I don't really know what that means, but okay, let's just look at the choices. Uh, He often depicts the subjects of his sculptures using an unrealistic style. Yeah, well, if it's broad forms rather than extreme accuracy, uh, okay, that seems like an unrealistic style. Uh, Okay, now the word often bothers me, right? That's a time word. So we need evidence that something's happening again and again. Uh, but it does say in many of his sculptures. So, okay, maybe that's proof of that. Let, let's just keep going. There's some things about A that are kind of sketchy, but whatever. There might be worse stuff in the other choices. B, he uses different kinds of materials depending on what kind of sculpture he plans to create. Now, to me, this is the main character issue, right? Are we really talking about the main character or the, the materials of the sculptures? No. We're talking about the like the way the sculptures look is more what I get here, right? The form of the sculpture, that's the main character. Um, it also doesn't really, yeah, um, I don't know. It says it's metal in both cases, right? This is steel, this is metal. So are these different materials? These seem like the same materials. So I don't know, this just seems wrong. See, he tends to base his art on important historical figures rather than on fictional characters. No. The, he's the arachne is it says his major work arachne mythical character so this is just plain up stay straight up wrong uh d he has altered his approach to sculpture over time over time and his works have become increasingly abstract so we have uh the problem of time we have the problem of quantifying or uh, even comparison here right so we're we're giving two examples 1956 and 2021 so time is passing but are we making a comparison between those two things? Are we trying to say that they represent some broader shift in his work? I don't think so. I think they're just two examples, right? Even just look at the transition point here, right? And his large bronze sculpture. It's not a but. It's not a, you know, uh, today, now, like in contrast, you know, it, it, it's just continuation. So we're not we're not shifting in any way that I can see. So notice that there are strong words. There are problem trap words in every single choice here. But because I focused on them, I was able to prove the ones in A right and say, okay, this is justified. Whereas the others, I was able to have a more concrete reason for eliminating the choice. So a lot of you are going to be able to get choice A just by doing other things with B, C, and D, basically saying, no, that's not what it's about. But that's not a good reason. You can't do that. That's not going to help you on the hard questions. Not what it's about. It's not like we have one answer that is better than all the others, but the other three are kind of right. No, there is one correct answer and three wrong. So your job is to prove the other three wrong. And so you really need to have a big repertoire of reasons that you can draw from to prove things wrong. And there are certain patterns that we see in lots of cases. Sometimes it is more specific to that passage. But regardless, unless you can say it is wrong because and point to a word or a phrase in the choice, you are not really doing the full job of analyzing these choices and going through the the process of elimination that you need for these questions. So I highly recommend that you don't take shortcuts. These questions are purposely not timed. They're not part of a section. So use the time to learn that skill and you will benefit from it later when you are in a time section.